So Journey to the Sun of the Earth was in 3D as well, and you're the executive producer and actor. Why did you make that decision to have the film in 3D? Right here, it was designed in 3D. Yeah. The um, set pieces were all uh, created by um, uh, uh, visual um, artists from ILM. Um, Eric Brevik has a strong background in um, that realm from Marin County, having done films like Star Wars and worked with James Cameron all the way back to the Abyss. Yeah. So um, it's an area that just hadn't been explored in film in a way that it could be now that we have the technology that provides for it to actually work. Mm -hmm. You know, so you don't have the silly cardboard glasses with red, red eye, one blue eye. We have lovely polarized ones that don't give you a headache, that make uh, the images look crisp and dynamic. Okay. And, and just right towards me one time. More importantly, and it's a way of getting an audience to come back to the theater rather than just sitting at home and watching Thank movies. Because you must come to the theater to see it. Well, for a while. Now in the last couple of years, to tell you the truth, and this is an inside tip. <laughs> Likely so many other um, devices will become 3D also. Um, th this little doodad here you're shooting with right now, handheld devices, laptops, televisions, gosh, I don't know, probably there'll be all sorts of applications, automotive, who knows, medical. Uh, it's, it's remarkable technology, and uh, it has in many ways revolutionized um, the way that audiences experience films, which I think personally is very, very satisfying. But beyond all the art, you know, the creation and artifice and sort of nerdiness of making something look really, really cool, what it does is it provides for a more fulfilling experience as a cinema goer. Also keeps people possibly in theaters. They're not, you know, it, well said. maybe watching at home, even though there are TVs that will that be in cities. Possibly. You know, I mean, I, I know for a fact they're in research and development right now and sporting events will be coming out in 3D. Um, but people do come back to the theater again, and I just, you know, from my days of having been a struggling, starving actor on stage, it's nice to see a house full of people enjoying themselves, uh, rather than uh, thinking that you're just doing something that's so-called going straight to video. As an actor shooting, is it a different experience? No. It, well, if anything, um, it's, more, it's more of a fluid, lucid experience, working with digital. Because if you think about it, there's a magazine of film. Film is becoming, well, it's almost passe in many ways. Film gets scanned yeah. into a digital format, and then it's manipulated and edited from there. But with each magazine that's mounted on top of a camera, the, the conventional, you know, Panaflex, Airflex, no matter, depending on how much, how much uh, film you actually put in and how many feet, it's going to so-called roll out eventually. Yeah. Or you got to cut, just like cut the film. That's why I say cut, cut film, because you can roll out. With, with digital, and depending on the size of the hard drive, you've got one long take, and it can go on for sometimes, <laughs> depending on the shot, for up to, gosh, 12, 14, 16 minutes if you have to, mm -hmm. if you're able to keep the environment where you're working quiet. Now, if you miss your mark or you goof or, I don't know, someone drops a rock on your head and that's not what you want to have happen, it, it's, it's, a, it's a lot more forgiving. And so what can we expect next? Are you working on a new 3D film maybe in the future? Uh, yes, I will be, yeah. We're, uh, we're, uh, <laughs> we're in research and development for um, a sequel to uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth. It also will be in 3D, naturally. Um, <laughs> uh, we, uh, I, what I can tell you is that I, I'm happy to be a, a part of the producing team yet again. Yes. Um, and um, stay tuned, more to come. Okay, thank you so much. Have Pleasure's fun. Pleasure's mine. <laughs> nice to meet you.